there he is, player one, having lost again. Game over, and good luck reaching back to the gamer's attic. <laughs> Please, to me. Ugh. I can't see. Where am I? Welcome, player one. Old school Al. Good to see you again. What are you doing here? We're in the warp zone. The warp zone? Yep. This is where we keep all the old school goodies. Amazing. So players, you're in for a treat. We're in the warp zone. Hey guys, welcome to the warp zone. I am your host, player one, and I'm here with... Old school Al. And today, we're gonna take a quick look and some cool Voltron toys. Yep, we got some Voltron toys from all eras. We got some Voltron toys going far to the 80s and some of the newer ones in the 90s. And you know Voltron is still going long and strong today. There's a new series on Netflix, I believe. The other day I was in Denny's and they had Voltron uh, mugs, if you okay. uh, you know, with their shapes and stuff that you can get. So Voltron's still going long and strong 30, 35 years later. So Amazing. let's start with some of these old stuff. Look at these, I picked these up at a garage sale a while back. These are called Grow a Voltron. These suckers are from the 80s, probably 84, you know, a little 80s scamoch on them. You throw them in the water and they turn into giant Voltrons. This one's like a lion, and this one is like a whole entire Voltron. Very nice, very, very nice. Cool. I thought that was really neat, so I had to grab that when I saw it. It's got some old uh, little play books from back in the day, the Deadly Flowers. There's like three different ones in there. I really don't want to open them, but. Oh, well, let's open them. Come on, let's put these Let's do it. Forward. We're in the warp zone. We are in the warp zone. You can see the coolest things ever. That is absolutely this. true. So we've got Deadly Flowers. Ooh, look at this one. Raid of the Alien Mice and Lothar's Giant Robeast with somebody's little sticky stick from back in the day. Check it out. I remember when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I don't know if these are the Dinosaurs same. Dinosaurs World the Earth. Man, yeah, you would open these glossy books. Look at that, awesome. And the smell. Yeah, man. That freshness. Oh, and that's like pictures of the TV screens from back in the 80s. So that is so that's, cool. That's incredible. Man. That's awesome. Only vintage toys, man. Vintage stuff. So we'll put that away later. Okay, again, this is from uh, 1984 or so. We've got this from the 80s also. I thought you'd be interested in seeing this. Check this incredible toy out. This is a LJN slot racer from uh, slot racing set from Voltron. A little dusty, but that's part of the charm. Okay, very, very cool. This thing right here is basically unused. Look at that, my man. You're gonna wow. wanna see that. Look at that Voltron label and stuff. Take a look at so, that. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with it too much more. It's getting a little heavy. Put that back. How many come in the set? Is uh, it all five? Only, no, oh. just two, a red and a yellow okay. uh, slot car, and they race around the track and they do that stuff. Now, do you know if you could have bought more different ones? I or don't is think it just, so. I think no. only that. There's other slot, you know, cars that, that are expandable like the Tyco ones and the other ones but I think that's just it's very interesting how they pick the red and the yellow line. yeah it is I guess those are the uh, one from the leg and one from the arm yeah so we've got some other ones this is another old school uh, toothbrush holder your electric toothbrush would go here batteries would go in this giant component component these are from HG toys and I guess extra toothbrushes would go in its hand and you can oh, cool. the sounds Okay, got that from the old school. This guy's metallic, he's a little heavy. He's uh, missing his little nose cone head, but hey, but it is what it is. And uh, he's got a detachable little airplane, but he's kind of stuck there. It, this one's cool, he's got a Thundercracker glove though. Okay. As you can tell, so it's not complete, but. So what was the difference between him and Voltron? They're both Voltrons, they're just different series of different Voltrons. Different series, okay. So if you give me a second, I'll show you. Here's another toothbrush or a pencil holder. The pencil would go here and your Voltron, this is a Lion Voltron. So let me show you the difference, okay? So that Voltron that you have in your hand came, I believe, after this guy, okay? So first we had the Lion Voltron, and then they had this one with multiple figures and multiple ships and cars and stuff that would get together. This one's metal also, so it's kind of comparable to that, but they just had different seasons and different series. And, okay. And in the end, I think their plan was that they were all gonna merge and. All the Voltrons would battle together in different adventures, but it never took off. Most people like the Lion Voltron the best. Yeah. Yep. I guess it took off the Power Rangers instead. Yep, and that's also led to the explosion in the entrance, the emergence of the Power Ranger toys. So then we have some other ones I wanted to share. We've got some of these that hold action figures from the 80s. Okay, this is a Bobo one. The cockpit's missing, so don't mind that. 
but it kind of looks something like these right here with the cockpit and little action figures that went inside of that. Wow, so that, that makes a big giant Voltron. Yep, they all combined to make a large Voltron, kind of about the scale of this guy right here. This is from the 90s, however. This is now a different year. Oh, don't worry. This is a 90s era Voltron. He's remote control. And by that, just basically one button backwards or forward and his legs kind of shuffle. So, that's very nice. Does. Yeah, kind of cool, right? Yeah, definitely. So, yep, that's that. It's from the 90s a little later on. And that one that you have in your hands, also a 90s era Voltron. You know, kind of like you can tell by the material, by the, the rubber and it the changed plastic used. drastically, oh, huh? Yeah. We were just talking about that earlier about the feel of some of these old school toys. Like uh, how heavy look at this metallic one. Now this is this is uh, the one that combines with those. But look at this one, the feel of this metallic blue line from Matchbox from down in the seventy in the eighties, excuse me. Really heavy. You can really feel that guy. Wow. You could just you can just feel this. Yep. Very cool toys, man. Very interesting stuff from back in the day. We've got a bunch of the action figures, you know, with their weapons. Some of the original Robies and Hagar the Witch. Eh, just uh, throw those in there. That's it. That's it for those. So here's, these are more of the bad guys. And tell Robies, me which one Robies. was your favorite, guys? And the Voltron toy was your favorite. To me, I like the Lion Voltron the best. I got suckered into that one, but I also thought the ship one was cool but a little impractical. The lion one was the one that kicked butt. Okay. Yep. So cool. I hope you enjoyed uh, my Voltron toy, my old school Voltron stuff. There you have it. I'm sure there's more lying around, but that's what we have handy here in the war zone right now. So guys, thank you for joining us. If you want to see anything, other toys, G.I. Joe, E-Man, you let us know. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, drop us a line, share, and we'll get back right on it. So this is player one, and I'm here with Wow, and I'm saying, love say. <laughs>